check this out. She's older than you. She makes more money than you. You are not her. You will never be her man. You will be her boy. You will be another child to her. She sees you as a child, and right now, because she's not making more babies with her husband, which she should be doing instead of out there gallivanting, she's having misplaced maternal instinct and sees you as one of her children. She has oxytocin love for you. That's what she has for you. She doesn't have respect love for you. Yo, Elliot. Yo, E, I got a question. So there's a woman, she earns $150,000 a year and has been separated from her husband with divorce finalization approaching soon. She wants me. House, kids, marriage. We've been banging for some time now. She wants it more than I do and told me she's been in love with me for months. I don't love her, but I like her. There's also a three-year-old girl involved. I never dated a chick with a kid and have always steered away from it. It isn't the way of a strong man to rely upon a woman, but she has the money and connections to significantly level up my life quickly. And she lets me check her behavior if she's acting wrong. So she's somewhat submissive and shows fear of losing me, which is great considering I've been broke for the whole time. <laughs> also, she's a Republican, so that's a win. Uh, would you consider this a terrible idea or a reasonable pursuit? Um, obviously you cannot tell me what to do, but your ideas would be very cool. I'm 31. She's 36. Uh, and this is a factor for children. He says, op he, he, so he's like, which one should I do? What should I do? Oh, my bro. Here we go. The first thing you ought to know is that you never date a single mother. You never date an older woman and you never date a woman who's been married. Why? Number one, when a woman has been married, when a woman marries a man, when a woman is having sex with a man to the degree that they have their own children together, no matter what, if they divorce or separate or not, that man will always be her husband. That man will always have an imprint on her soul. He is in her DNA. She carries his seed and she carries his DNA till the day she's buried. That will never be your woman. It will always be his. And I know a lot of divorced people don't like to hear, hear this, especially women. They think that they just because they get legal papers to separate from their husband, what God binds, no man shall separate. She will always be another man's wife. That's the way it is spiritually. That's the way it is physically. She will always be deeply imprinted by this man. She will never be yours. Now, the fact that she's older than you, also, and check this out. She's older than you. She makes more money than you. You are not her. You will never be her man. You will be her boy. You will be another child to her. She sees you as a child. And right now, because she's not making more babies with her husband, which she should be doing instead of out there gallivanting, she's having misplaced maternal instinct and sees you as one of her children. She has oxytocin love for you. That's what she has for you. She doesn't have respect love for you but she's playing that respectful game because she's hooking you in and the first thing you need to do is stop having sex with this woman that's the first thing because she's hooking you in with her sex and she's hooking you up with her fake per permissiveness her fake submissiveness if she was a good submissive wife she wouldn't be leaving her husband i don't know what happened with her and her husband but the fact that she's fucking another young man and she's got a three-year-old girl which is such a bad example for her daughter and you'll never be her daddy this is another bullshit lie sorry to rant i know some people ain't gonna like it but don't be a cuck don't take care of some other man's child that's a bad idea and this whole idea that you're now you're gonna be her daddy is dumb you will never be her daddy no matter how much you love her how much you pay for her how much you take care of her you will never be her father and this is what these women like to try to make you believe. Oh, you're going to be his, her adopted dad. No, her real dad will always be her dad. You will just be some guy that screws up her physiology because you know what happens when a woman with a, with a daughter brings a grown, another man into the house, that little girl, her physiology changes. She usually starts getting her period too early. She grows up very quickly because 
the body senses that there is another, there's a man, there's a grown man that's not my father, not my brother living in his home, and the body starts preparing for sex early. I know it sounds strange, but this is biology. I'm watching it happen with some of the some of the these women that my wife knows that are separated from their husbands, and then they bring a new man to the home. I'm, it's such a sad thing to see because I know these children since they were babies, and I'm watching the little girls like this little girl is is growing up. I see what's happening to her. She's getting hard. She's becoming they they these little girls they become hard hardened little women way too early because they're living in a house with a man that's not their father. And it doesn't mean that the man has bad intentions or has sexual intentions to her. It's biology. This is what happens to the little girls. So you're robbing her innocence. You're robbing that little girl's innocence. You need to tell this woman to go back to her husband, stop being a thought, take care of her child, raise her family. She wants a house with you and kids and marriage. This is a pie in the sky. You lying to yourself and she's lying to you. And I know you say you, you're, and here's the other thing, man, you're looking at it the wrong way. First of all, stop having sex with her. I already said that because she got she got you tricked with the with the sex. The second thing is that she's lying to you about being a submissive wife. Who cares if she's a Republican? She's going to do and say whatever she wants to, to manipulate you and to make you her new baby boy. You're going to be her new boy. You're going to be her new child. Right. That she that she instead of giving you Baba, she's going to give you sex. This is what happens. She's not going to give she's not going to nurture you like a like a like a real baby boy. She's going to give you the sex that you need and you just suck up on her like that and then that's why you, that's you end up becoming you become the, the submissive bitch because you're the little boy in a relationship. And then the money stuff. He says, "Oh, she's 36 cuz she and she got a hell of money." Bro, that's why you're a prey for this woman because she got sex. She's got money. She got you totally freaking confused. You need to go and make your own money. And he says that's one of his options. Isolate and rebuild myself and get a younger chick. Yes. You're 31. She's 36. She thinks she's your mama. She has misplaced maternal instinct. You need to grow up. You got to grow up, bro. You got to grow up. Get a job. Get the shittiest job you can get. That way you're just making money. It doesn't matter. It's not even about having a passionate job or having a job you love or the greatest job in the world. It's about working because men are made to work. Men are designed to work. You will be a man when you're working. It doesn't matter what the job is. Just go get a job. Build up from there. Go work. Make your own money. Stop trying. Because another thing is like now you if you're having sex with this woman for her money, you're basically becoming a prostitute in that way too. Like, you know, you're prostituting yourself. You literally put the prostitute to yourself. So go get your own money, get your own frame, and then, yes, invite a young lady, a nice young lady, a young girl, like I said in a previous video. Go find a nice, conservative, traditional young lady who's not on Instagram and who's not on, uh, on uh, them swipe right apps. Um, that looks up to you and loves you and respects you and that you could provide a life for. She could hitch her wagon to your truck, not the other way around. So that's it, man. I hope that helps, dude. Don't do it. Stop immediately, immediately. Don't put your pee pee back in that woman's pussy. Don't do it. Stop it. Stop now. Done. Yo, it's your bro Elliot Hulse here, and I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent sessions with my King Transformation students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week, and we speak on things related to becoming kings in our lives. If that sounds like you, and you're interested in joining a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day, in every way, in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G. And me and my team will get back to you with the details to see if you qualify to join us. Hope to see you at our next meeting. Done.